Laurel, thank you. Now we're just days away from Easter and of course you might be planning the perfect menu for dinner or maybe you need a last minute item to take somewhere. Rolls and bread are absolutely perfect for that. And with us today is Sandy Lingerfeld. She's the creator of Beads, Breads and More to show us how to make some sourdough bread in a couple of different forms. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So first yeah. off, tell us what we have here. I know we've got to go pretty quick. Okay, we have bread flour, sugar and salt and we're going to add the wet ingredients. First, we're going to put the water in the yeast, stir it a little bit. We're going to pour our oil in, and we're going to add some sourdough starter, which has been fed. So tell us what's in that and how people, you know, because I've never made my own bread before. So yeah. what's in this? Well, I was given a starter, and it's probably 25 to 30 years old. Oh, wow. So, but you can make your own starter. There's all kinds of recipes out there. I'm going to put a cup in, but you add a cup of water, three teaspoons, uh, tablespoons of potato flakes and a half a cup of sugar, and you keep it in the refrigerator. And if it's not strong enough, in other words, if it doesn't stink, you let it sit out for a couple of days. Yes, so tell us what you do once you get to this point. Okay, you're going to stir it up and get it to the point that it's not shiny and it's not sticky. So we'll so add I'm some flour. Hold this up a little Go bit ahead. for you so you can stir it. Yeah, we're stirring. Okay. And we're going to have to add a little flour. But once you get this stirred up, we'll add that later. But once you get this all stirred up and everything, mm -hmm. you sit it in a, a hot place like the oven with the light on or on the stove top with the light over it. Okay. But I'll add sugar and get this not sticky and not shiny. Okay. And so now we would already have some that were kind of, that was kind of prepared, yeah. right? Yes. We did this this morning and brought it over here and we're going to, we're going to punch it down, see it, it rose from the mm -hmm. hot place, and we're going to punch it down. And we will have this recipe on our website for those of you that um, want to try to make this at home. I know that she's the expert over here, but I, stuff. I wish, uh, wish I had this kind of skill and talent. You know exactly what you're doing. <laughs> well, I've been doing it for about 25 years, so... And so obviously, you know, how many people does this feed? I know a lot of people there, you know, probably thinking, how many people can we feed with this? Okay, out of one run, you can get three loaves of bread, or you can get 24 rows, or if you like smaller rows, you can get maybe 27 to 30. And um, you get three of, of something, three pans of something. You can get eight cinnamon rows. So this is kind of a all around recipe. You can use it for oh, many yes. different things. Yes. And if you want to spray the pans okay. and, and we'll show you how to put them in the pan. Okay, when you do a loaf of bread, you just want to kind of tuck it at both ends, get it good and smooth. We'll do a couple of pans of bread. And if you're doing rolls, there you go. So you just sit it in the pan just like that. Yep. And then it goes in a, a warm place like the oven or on the stove top, you put a paper towel over it. Okay. If you're going to do rolls, you keep halving it. Move this out of their way so they can see that. Pretty simple. So just so, yeah. So just Kinda so you messy. guys can see <laughs> the the proportion of this. And now, how long does it take for it to rise? It takes anywhere from four to six hours, and you can leave it a few more. Okay. Depends, uh, if you want to rise fast, put more yeast in it. If you want to slow it down a little bit, put less yeast. If and it, does that change the flavor at all? No. No. It's pretty flexible. It's a real good, easy recipe. And, you know, with this, I know that this takes quite some time to do, but it definitely is a showstopper, right, for everybody. I mean, to oh. make your own bread, well, everybody loves it. It's a labor of love. If you give somebody a loaf of bread, you're telling them, hey, I cared enough about you to make you a loaf of bread. <laughs> and so, and it's not something you can just go whip up in, in your kitchen. So. And with this, um, we are going to let these kind of rest, but we do have some that we did already, you know, have brought in earlier today. If we want to go ahead and show this before we head um, to break in just a second, because um, we come back from break, we're going to show you a little bit more, but this is what they look like when they are fully risen. And uh -huh. so this takes again, how many hours? Four to six. Okay, so you might want to do this. Or more. Leave it overnight, maybe. You and can. And then the next morning, go ahead and put it in the oven. Yes. Well, okay, we will be right back <laughs> in just a moment to show you the finished product and show you a little bit more about how you can make this delicious dish for Easter.